How big do you think Amerisource Bergen Corporation is? Many indices have shown that that this company is bigger than many think. Apart from its billions of dollars worth of revenue, Amerisource Bergen has paid for and absorbed companies worth billions of dollars. Many companies love buying companies worth millions of dollars but Amerisource Bergen has huge appetite for acquiring companies worth billions of dollars in valuation. Who is Amerisource Bergen, by the way? Amerisource Bergen Corporation is an American drug wholesale organization that was founded by the merger of Bergen Brunswick and Amerisource in the year 2001. The company distributes drugs and provides consultancy related to medical business operations and patient services. The company also distributes over-the-counter, OTC, health products, generic pharmaceuticals, home healthcare supplies, outsourced compound sterile preparations and related services. Amerisource Bergen takes care of numerous health care providers in the US and selected global markets, comprising independent and chain retail pharmacies, acute care hospitals, medical clinics, mail order pharmacies, medical and dialysis clinics, physician practices, long-term care and alternate site pharmacies, vet clinics and other customers. The company's headquarters is located in Chesterbrook, Pennsylvania, United States. Amerisource Bergen boasts an employee strength of 42,000 employees and a revenue of $213 billion as of 2021. The company was ranked 10th on the Fortune 500 list for 2020. Amerisource Bergen was the largest company in Pennsylvania by revenue in the year 2012. Amerisource Bergen was established in 2001 as a result of a merger of the two companies Amerisource Health Corporation and Bergen Brunswick Corporation. David Yost, the CEO of Amerisource prior to the merger, remained in the position even after the combination of the two companies. The company's mission is to create healthier futures. Amerisource Bergen has a total of 26 pharmaceutical distribution centers in the United States, 9 distribution centers in Canada, 4 specialty distribution centers in the US and more than a million square feet of production capacity in the US and UK. With the integration of World Courier, the largest medical logistics company at a worldwide level, more than 150 offices were added to the company around the globe. Amerisource Bergen operates its drug distribution business under four primary units namely, Amerisource Bergen Drug Corporation, ABDC, Amerisource Bergen Specialty Group, ABSG, Amerisource Bergen Consulting Services, ABCS, and World Courier Incorporated. Amerisource Bergen has a business affiliation with Good Neighbor Pharmacy, an American retailer's cooperative network of over 3,400 independently owned and operated pharmacies. In October of 2007, the company acquired Belco Health for $190 million. In the year 2011, the company purchased Intrinsic for $35 million and Premier Source for an amount the company did not disclose. In July of the same year, Stephen Collis became the CEO of the company, replacing Yoast. In the month of March the next year, Amerisource Bergen agreed to purchase World Courier Group Incorporated, a transport and logistic company that provides its services to the biopharmaceutical industry for a sum of $520 million. In January 2015, Amerisource Bergen acquired MWI Veterinary for $2.5 billion. The following year, Amerisource Bergen purchased St. Francis Group for an unreported amount. If you are getting value from this video, kindly like the video and subscribe to our channel. By October that year, Amerisource Bergen agreed to buy Farmedium, a compounding drug company for a sum of $2.58 billion. The company went further to acquire H.D. Smith which was the largest privately held national pharmaceutical wholesale company in the United States for $815 million. In March 2016, Walgreen Boots Alliance Inc. acquired 22.7 million shares of Amerisource Bergen stock worth about $1.17 billion, thereby having 15% control in the company, from which they sold 6 million units of the stock in 2022. 
In 2018, Amerisource Bergen came into an agreement to pay $625 million to settle a civil fraud testament made against them as a result of its repackaging and sales of unapproved drugs, adulterated drugs and providing kickbacks to physicians. In the year 2019, the company announced its earnings to be a sum of $1.11 billion with annual revenue of $179.58 billion. The company's shares also traded at a price of over $88 per share and its market cap became valued at $19.2 billion in the US by September of the same year. In June of 2020, the Department of Health and Human Services HHS, in the US announced an unusual agreement for the distribution of the first coronavirus drug Remdesivir. Amerisource Bergen was given the responsibility of allocating shipments of the drug to American hospitals through the end of September 2020. During the time frame, patients would be allocated with over 90% of Remdesivir output of more than 500,000 treatment courses. On June 2, 2021, the company purchased Alliance Healthcare from Walgreens Boots Alliance for an approximate sum of $6.5 billion which was split into 2 million shares and $6.275 billion in cash. Amerisource Bergen has also had its fair share of problems. First, it was the state of Michigan sued the company and three other opioid distribution companies as drug dealers, for their roles in the state's opioid overdose disasters in December 2019. The lawsuit was filed under the Michigan Drug Dealer Liability Act. Secondly, Ohio State also sued Amerisource Bergen. The company alongside three other distributors came to an agreement to pay the sum of $260 million to two Ohio counties. Thirdly, Amerisource Bergen was sued by the West Virginia government for its contribution to the resulting opioid epidemic, when the company decided to ship above the law regulated amount of pain medication, into the state. Oklahoma Attorney General, Mike Hunter, also sued Amerisource Bergen in Bryan County District Court, Oklahoma. The lawsuit stated that the company's distribution fueled the opioid disaster in the state. Two companies were sued alongside Amerisource Bergen. The lawsuit reported that the opioid supplied by the three companies was so much that every adult resident in the state could have 144 Hydrocon tablets each. As of January 2022, Amerisource Bergen, alongside three other sued distribution companies, agreed to pay a combined sum of $26 billion to settle all but five states suing them. The company's stock price crashed after the company offered $10 billion to settle its portion of the national opioid lawsuit, along with other distributors. It was estimated that if all the state charges got to court the companies would have paid up to $95 billion for damages. With these few clips, it is obvious that Amerisource Bergen is a gigantic company. Thank you for watching. We have other interesting videos you may like. Kindly like our video and subscribe to our channel so you will get notified anytime we post a new video.